experts tell me this is not something that happens very often to have two different state grand juries investigating the same case. But Action News has learned that in addition to the Oakland County grand jury that's going on right now, a Wayne County grand jury has also reviewed the child killer case. Action News has learned that Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy convened a grand jury of her own to hear evidence in the decades-old Oakland County child killer case. Between 1976 and 1977, a killer or killers abducted and murdered four children. They were all kidnapped in different Oakland County cities, and all but three of the bodies were left in Oakland County. The child killer's last known victim was 11-year-old Timothy King, taken from Birmingham, but his body was discovered in Livonia. Legal experts tell Action News that one location allows Worthy to have some jurisdiction in the case. Oakland County Prosecutor Jessica Cooper has recently convened a 13 to 17 person citizen's grand jury to hear testimony and examine evidence in the child killer case. Timothy King's father, Barry King, is grateful to Kim Worthy for pursuing the case as well. Doesn't come as any surprise to me because the Michigan State Police reports uh, indicate back in 2008 that she wanted to do that. Uh, to get this case moving along. I feel badly that it's all done in secret, but I wish uh, all of the law enforcement people would uh, get together and sit down in one room and stop playing games and make decisions one way or the other. And if they may not all agree on, uh, on whether what happened to those four kids, uh, at least they ought to sit down and talk it out between themselves and then, and then go public. Grand jury proceedings are supposed to be kept secret, so neither prosecutor is commenting on this tonight. Reporting live in Birmingham, I'm Heather Catalo, Channel 7 Action News.